In this video, I'm gonna show you how to manifest what you want, anything that you want, in 24 hours or less. Sounds crazy, but let me show you how to do it. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and let's dive right into how to manifest what you want in 24 hours or less. Okay, so here's what you gotta understand. And it came from this guy with gray hair. Guess what his name was? Albert Einstein. And here's what he told us. Time really doesn't exist in our linear world. So 24 hours from now, how to manifest in 24 hours, it doesn't exist. What you want already exists. We live in a world of pure infinite. Meaning, there's no limit. So you might say, wow, look at that star way out there, so far out there. And maybe uh, an astronomer says to you, yeah, that's actually 946,000 light years away. To your mind, it may be very far, but it's a number, so you can quantify that number in a linear fashion, right? And so you might say, okay, I get it. It seems that's very far, but at least I can quantify it, right? But then what happens? Well, what happens if we get there? What's on the other side of those zillion light years away? How much further does space go? Well, it's infinite. What's on the other side of infinite? Is there a wall on the other side of infinite? Like, and then the question is, well, what's on the other side of that wall? More infinite. Infinite, infinite, we live in an infinite world. And Albert Einstein himself, this isn't new thought, this isn't a hippy dippy law of attraction. Albert Einstein himself has told us that time doesn't exist in a linear fashion, but what's our biggest hiccup? We think that we need something to happen for us to get something that we want in the future. So what you have to realize is that everything that you want is already manifested. Or Neville Goddard said it best. There's no such thing as truly creating. There's a, there's a misconception that manifesting means that you're creating something. Whereas manifesting quite simply means that you're getting in harmony with something that already exists. Because think about it, all the money that you want it already exists. In fact, there's so much money printed that the value of the dollar is, it loses value every single year. Money is now debt. If you have a bunch of paper money, it's now debt because it's losing value every year. The money you want exists. Your soulmate already exists on planet Earth. Your dream house exists, either already built or the raw materials and the actual place it will be already exists. Everything you want already exists. It's just that we have to come in harmony with it. Now this is the tricky thing, right? The tricky thing is we're generally not in harmony with what we want. Why? Because first of all, we don't grasp one very important thing. We don't grasp one very important thing that we're already one with everything that we want. Why are we one with everything that we want? We're one with everything that we want because there's only one source of energy here. You can call that God, you can call that the universe, you can call that light, vibration, consciousness, I don't care what you call it, Allah, Jesus, doesn't matter. Alan Watts says you can't get wet by the word water. See, we used to believe in the, in the Newtonian model of physics, which essentially said that we live in a physical world, solid matter, and we were essentially at subject to this physical world. Albert Einstein comes along and he says e equals mc squared. E equals mc squared, what does that mean? Essentially what he discovered is that energy and matter are so uh, connected that they're actually one in the same. That energy is the building blocks of the whole universe. And at the subatomic level, at the, at the level beyond what we can see with the naked eye, there's only one consciousness that's in different frequencies, just like you have different channel changers. There's one, everything is God, everything is spirit, everything is vibration, everything is energy, everything is consciousness. 
It's all just different manifestations of that one thing. And when you recognize that, and then you realize what Albert Einstein said, that actually that linear time doesn't exist. There is no time. It's a man-made concept. It's just a way that we cope with reality, otherwise it makes no sense to us. It's too crazy to comprehend. And so when you realize that, everything you want is already here. So it's not the question isn't, am I good enough? Is it possible? Hell yeah, it's possible. Why would it not be possible? It already exists. If you want to make a million dollars, not only is it possible, the million dollars is already here. <laughs> if you want a soulmate, he or she is already here. Your dream house is already here. Your dream career is already here. It's about us getting in harmony with it. It's about us. Uh, Aldous Huxley once said that if the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear as it is. Infinite. Well, you remember the, the band of the doors? Jim Morrison got the name The Doors from that Aldous Huxley quote. If the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear as it is, infinite. You'd realize it's infinite, that you're one with everything that you desire. And so the question is, what do you want to create? How do you want to live your life? Because that's not subject to anything. Right? So if you wanted to manifest your soulmate, make a million dollars, what is it that you want to create knowing that time doesn't exist and the real question here is one, how do you want to go about living your life? Right? Because in the same way, all of the AM and FM radio stations already exist, right? That'd be a perfect example so it makes sense. But the thing is, you can't get 102.1 FM unless you're on the frequency of it, unless you've turned the knob to it. Look at your body, look at your life, like the radio knob that turns to the frequency of reality that you want. For you to get to 99.9 .9 FM in your car, you have to turn the knob there. You can't be on 88.6, right? You have to turn the knob there. It's not about time existing. Well, is this going to take me three years to get to that radio station? No, it'll take you literally one second. You just turn the knob over there. But then when it comes to reality, we say, well, the, how that's a big manifestation. That's a big desire. I mean, that might take me nine years. That might take me 40 years. I, I may never get that. I might not even be good enough. I mean, is that even possible for me? Why wouldn't it be possible for you? If it's possible for him, it's possible for you. There's no reason that it wouldn't be possible. It's, it already exists. It's that you have to turn your radio knob, your life, your thought patterns in alignment with the possibility rather than the absence of it. Because everything is really two things, the presence and the absence of it. Think about that. Everything is really two things, the presence or the absence of it. And we live in a world of infinite possibilities where everything that you want already exists and time truly doesn't exist. And somebody says, I want more money. But what are they doing? They're not focused on the money. They're focused on the absence of the money. Right? They say, well, if this really works, why isn't it in my bank account yet? I mean, my job, <laughs> my job's only paying me this. And I mean, have you seen the economy lately? And I mean, I don't, I mean, is this really, they're focused on the absence of the money. People do that with relationships. I really want my dream boyfriend. I really want him. But then what are they doing? There's no good guys out there. There's no good guys, right? Or, or men say, you know, the hardest thing is you can find a really pretty woman or you can find a really nice one, but you can't find one that's really cool and really pretty. You get one or the other. They're focused on the absence of what they want. So you can't see the presence of it. There's a part of your brain called your reticular activating system. Your reticular activating system, whatever is your dominant focus, it creates that reality for you. And so what's happening is we're focused on the absence of what we want. So we immediately create it. 
And so you say, it takes, this is gonna take me a long time to do this thing. Uh, you know, I might not be good enough. So your reticular activating system, it doesn't know the difference between what you do want, what you don't want, what's good for you and what's bad for you. It just follows the commands off of the way that your attention goes. And so your attention is on the absence of what you want or that time is going to be a factor that's not going to allow you to get what you want because it's gonna take too long and that's too big and you're not good enough and you didn't do good on your SATs and you know, you've never made much money and you know, you're a little bit too, too not good looking enough or you don't have enough good things to attract your ideal relationship or here's all these reasons why in the past and we're carrying that around, focus on the absence of what we want and since time doesn't exist and we're one with everything in the source of creation, what happens is we immediately create the absence of it and then we say, see, this doesn't work. It's just, no, I don't have enough time. And so if you have a problem with any of that, download my free success hypnosis, jakeshypnosis.com. Use that. It's free. It's an MP3. You can listen to it immediately, jakeshypnosis.com, because it's all subconscious programming. We've been programmed negatively in our world, so we buy things we don't need, and so we think lowly of ourselves, so we're easy to control by the mass corporations. Download that, jakeshypnosis.com. Press the subscribe button in the corner and remember, you can manifest what you want as fast as you actually believe possible. Everything is two things, the presence of it or the absence of it in your life. Be sure to comment where in the world you're coming from. I'm in Maui, the sun's about to set right out that window, so I'm gonna go watch the sunset. Love to know where in the world you're coming from. See you soon.